Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I've been away for a while. My phone broke. Well, the sound on my phone hasn't been working for a long time, but I've got a new phone now and hopefully I'll be investing in a new camera, but I haven't been completely gone. If you've been checking my blog and Instagram and Twitter, I've been quite active on those forums, but now I'm going to be back on YouTube because I have a new phone. Yay! Um, for, I guess, the first video of the year, I decided that I would show you what I got in the January slash Boxing Day sale. Um, I got quite a bit, so I should probably jump right in. Um, from Feel Unique, I picked up a few beauty essentials, um, and I also had a 20% off Nukes code from Glossy Box from last month, which is the first Glossy Box code I've actually used, to be honest, but that's a different case. Um, I picked up two of the Rev de Mille lip balms. Um, they're just, they've been amazing for my lips um, during the winter and they've been the only thing that's been nourishing enough and not drying and I feel like even when the product is gone my lips stay nourished which I really enjoy. Um, I also picked up a replacement Claude Lee Vino Source SOS serum because my other one is nearly finished and I'm not ready to have to live without this. So, yeah. <laughs> then I got two Clarisonic brush head replacements, just in the normal. Sensitive skin, which I think is just a standard one that comes with every Clarisonic. Um, because they were also on sale, and these are never on sale, so yeah, I picked up two. So that should last me a good few months. And then I also picked up the Claude Lee Beauty Elixir, because there's been a lot of hype around it last year about how good it is for your skin, some people hate it, some people love it, some people grow to love it, um, but I'll be taking a long haul flight at the end of the month so I really wanted something that I could use to refresh my skin and keep it as moisturised as possible so yeah it was on sale so I was like well I might as well try it out and see if I like it and if it works then that's great and if it doesn't then it wasn't too expensive. Um, that was all I got from Feel Unique. Um, then I went on to ASOS.com and I wasn't looking for anything in particular but you know you go through the sales to see if there's anything that might catch your eye and I managed to get <laughs> nail polish as as is expected. Um, I got this Sunkissed Model Zone yellow nail polish. Um, I expected it to be a bit more solid, it's a bit more shit, well it's still a solid colour it's just not it's very iridescent, if that makes any sense, like it's an iridescent yellow rather than a solid block yellow, so, um, and I was looking for a block yellow more than this, but it's still a really pretty colour, and I'm really excited to use it in the summer and the spring. And then I also picked up the OPI um, Bond colour in Golden, Golden Eye, yes, I'm not sure if you can see that, yeah, um, and it's just this beautiful gold glitter and I've been I've had my eye on it since it came out but I didn't really want to spend the full eleven or twelve pounds on it so I waited and I got it for cheaper on ASOS.com. Um next on ASOS I picked up lots of um like bottoms, lots of skirts because I don't really have many skirts especially for spring and summer and I really wanted to kind of I've kind of been having a bit of a wardrobe rethink and I've kind of decided to go a bit more I guess grown up, a bit more sophisticated, a lot more sleek, streamlined with my clothing options. Um, so I've got this really nice velvet, it's like a mid-length skirt, like calf length, but it's from the maternity range so there's like this extra bit of material, I'm not sure if you can, this extra bit of material on the front of it to cover your stomach which I think is quite fun because it can I can make it high high waisted um and it fits really well actually um yeah it's just it's a really nice velvet textured skirt which I'm really excited to start um styling then I also picked up this green almost maxi skirt but it's not maxi it's just it's a beautiful forest green and it just, it's quite long, but it's not quite long enough to be a maxi. Um, so I can use it high waisted, or if I sit it on my waist, then it's just above the ankles. Um, and I think that will just 
because he really dresses loads of different things. I think you could, it's easy to dress up like this jersey material. You can either dress it up or dress it down, so it's more wardrobe option. And then I also picked up a very similar skirt to the green one, but in ox blood as they call it, but I prefer to say burgundy because I think ox blood is a bit overused at the moment, but yeah, ox blood is what it's called on the website, and it oh, actually matches my jumper quite well. Um, and it's, again, it's not a short skirt, it's more just below the knee length, but it fits really well and it kind of hugs you in in all the right places, which is epic. Um, and then I also picked up this skirt again, which is more the length of the Oxblood one, with this gorgeous print. And I saw it and I just had to have it. It was so beautiful. Look at the silver and the pinks and the blues. It's just such a pretty. At the back, it's just a plain black, but I just, I love this print that it has on it. And it comes quite tempered in and it just kind of pulls you in. It's just so beautiful and it's really quite good quality it's not it's by paprika so yeah you can probably still find it online if you like it but I thought that was beautiful um and then I went on to zara.com and their sale was quite amazing by like everything on their site I think they're on sale which was awesome and their shipping their order confirmation took a while because I think it was just taking a while because of all the orders that they had but um when it came I was really impressed like their delivery service texts you like a few days before they're going to deliver to tell you when they're going to deliver they tell they give you an option by text message to either deliver it to your neighbours or give you alternative delivery dates if you can't be in at that time and then the day before they text you with an hour slot where the driver is going to deliver your things and he does deliver them in that hour and I think that was really that, that was amazing because I've never had service like that before so I'm very excited for Zara online and then it came in this really just really sleek cardboard box and then I've already opened it but if you open it up it's all tissue wrapped and I love how it says autumn winter and then you open up the tissue and it's all really well folded like I've folded it all back but it was really well folded and really well laid out um, and I just I was really impressed with that, like good customer service makes me happy, so I was really impressed with the Zara delivery service, um, but what I got from there was mainly tops, which was good, because I got loads of bottoms from um, ASOS, so I got this kind of almost sheer cardigan, like it's really lightweight cardigan that I think is kind of droopy at the back. Um, that I think will just be good for spring and summer, like if I want to layer up a bit more but I don't want to be too warm then that will be really nice. Um, then I got this gorgeous, it says it's silk flamingo top and all of this flamingo is just made out of different coloured rhinestones and I just thought it was so, for lack of a better word, whimsical but really chic all at the same time. Um, the back of it's like a jersey material, I'm not sure if you can see that, and then the front is like a silk with the rhinestones and I just thought that was so pretty and yeah and I kind of like stuff like that because I like a, like crazy little things but I still want them to look quite nice so that was like right up my alley and then I picked up this really pretty geometric print shirt and it's really lightweight so you can use it in the summer and the spring as well as layer it up in the autumn and the winter. So I thought that was really pretty. Just really simple but quite striking when it's on and it buttons all the way up to the top so that should be really nice. And then I just got a basic black top with like three quarter lengths, well not three quarter lengths, like half two quarter length sleeves I guess that was that and then just a nice basic white t-shirt because I've needed a good quality white t-shirt for a while so yeah so that was what I got from Zara and then from Netta Porter I'm still waiting for one thing to be delivered that I ordered yesterday 
Um, but I decided not to wait to see the video. So from Meta Porter, I've been looking for a really nice purse for quite a while, and so I went onto the Meta Porter site because their sales are always really awesome, and found this really beautiful Jimmy Choo. That's the dust bag, and it's like the signature creamy beigey pink cardboard. I found this really beautiful Jimmy Choo purse, and it's leather, but it's like got a snake, I think it's snake, snake or lizard, snake print effect on it, but it's just pure leather, and it opens up, and I wanted a purse that had space for just cash and cards, because I have a spare, I have a extra coin purse that I like, and I don't really like my coins in my purses, because I tend to weigh them down and bulk them out, and it doesn't really fill me with joy when that happens, so this is just got card spaces on both sides which is good for me who always ends up signing up to every reward point system card that I can find um, so cash can go in there there's also like another there's another space at the back and then there's this zip compartment here which there's a bit of tissue paper in um, there's another zip compartment there that you can keep stuff in um, I think it also be good for travel you could put your um, boarding pass and passport in there and just have it safe and secure and just a really nice place um, so yeah so I was really happy about that when that came but I don't think I'll use it as an everyday purse because at first I wanted it as an everyday purse but I don't think I can because it's a bit more clutch like because it's quite large um, and then no sale season would be complete if I hadn't gone to the body shop because I'm always having to <laughs> stock up on body butter, so I was just looking at my stack of body butters. Um, so I got two Brazil nut ones and two almond ones, and then I got three of these vitamin C powders. I used this for the first time a few months ago, and it really helped to brighten up my skin, and so I was just really, really happy with that. So I picked up quite a few more in the sale, although, were they on sale? I'm not quite sure. Um, so yeah, that was it for what I got in the January sales, I believe. Um, I'm still waiting for one more thing to come from Meta Porter, but if it does come and I like it and I decide to keep it, then I shall probably just do a blog post on it or something. Um, I hope you had an amazing new year and a great Christmas. Um, I really believe 2013 is going to be awesome. I know a lot of people aren't sure about it, but I know it's just going to be a great year for everyone. So I shall see you soon and have a great day. Bye.